Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. In today's episode I want to go for the glass forge and have my final solar panel set up for this world. Now obviously we want to go rather big with hopefully the most efficient design. You're absolutely free to comment me if I'm mistaken about this. But essentially we want to go for a pyramid setup. So the solar panels are overlapping themselves partially which means they're not going to get their full potential. However for the amount of space we're using this should be the most optimal setup. Now in order to achieve that I actually would like to build this all the way up to the top and to the most right we can actually build stuff. So it seems as though we can get quite far to the right side there. Considering a solar panel is about three tiles high, let's see where we actually have to start. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. I can even place a ladder there. I don't know if we want to go this far. We could for instance say we are building a ladder right here and then this is where we are going to start the setup basically. So there should be three tiles for the top solar panels, another three for the middle ones and another three for the bottom ones and that means this tile right here should theoretically be the flooring. The question is just how do we set this up so we can reach all the solar panels as we build them? That is a good question, but maybe something else we first have to solve is how to get glass. Obviously, we're gonna need a glass forge set up. Man, look at all the gases here. <laughs> I almost feel like we should take care of this problem first. Yeah, I think temporarily I might just come up with a bunch more of these gas reservoirs. Want to make sure they are built on a tile and do we have the space for another one? Not really, so two more. That's not gonna help us much, is it? Hmm. Anyways, for the time being, in order to test the concept, we are going to set up the glass forge right here. Let's actually see. I want a pool of water. Let's actually make that pool of water a little bit bigger so we can make sure there's enough cooling potential for the molten glass. If we have a look at the glass forge, I probably want this to be made out of ceramic. I'm not sure that is exactly going to help. But what I do know is absolutely essential. You cannot forget about this is we need, for instance, igneous rock or ceramic insulated tiles as the flooring. Yeah, for now we're just gonna go with igneous rock. All of these tiles need to be insulated. It is so important because otherwise the liquid, the molten glass inside of the forge is already gonna exchange temperatures with the floor before it even exits the forge. Another thing that is very, very important is the output pipe should be as short as possible. So at least below 10, uh, just go as short as possible. And obviously we also want to build these out of insulated tiles. And uh, let's actually produce a bit more ceramic for these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait with that and exchange everything with ceramic. We just need to craft a bit more of it. I mean, we have plenty of raw materials. That is uh, good news. Let's maybe craft 50 ceramic pieces. That would be 5,000, which I believe should be enough. Yeah, let's let the game run for a little bit. Also, in terms of power, how much power is this going to require, actually? 1.2 kilowatts. Okay, so that means we cannot underestimate this. Slowly but surely, we are losing a lot more power than I originally wanted. I think what I'm gonna end up using for the time being is one of these, one of those and one of those and just connect it like so. Even though this is probably a temporary setup and we're not gonna need the heavy watt conductive wire, I'm already gonna build it with that just in case. So we're gonna connect all of this and that also means we can get rid of the cables up top. And also before I forget, I want to make sure these guys are actually hooked up. Let's also bring these up and over. And I guess I should be able to simply connect it like so. Theoretically that should work only when these all are empty. But yeah, the carbon dioxide is definitely something we need to take care of very soon. Maybe Slicksters is another idea, but they do not consume it extremely quickly. Okay then, let's get building. I'm also gonna clean up some more stuff here. I guess most of that stuff we can take apart by this time. Yeah, let me just get rid of some of this junk here. Also look at this, we can get rid of most of this power wire already. Love it. Oh, one thing I almost forgot about is the pips have actually planted all of the plants. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. So I believe we can take apart this storage bin. And instead what we want is a park sign right here. Yes, uh, build that out of copper, but maybe let's just do normal copper right there. And what this is going to do is all... And what this is going to do is all the duplicants that are going through this will get the nature reserve buff, which is a plus six morale boost. Absolutely vital if we want to add more of the perks. 
Wonderful. The kiln is going for it. We should be getting the ceramic very soon. And here my gas reservoirs are also being built. Now, actually, one more thing we need to do is set up a bottle emptier here. And I want to fill this up with some kind of liquid. I'm probably going to go for petroleum, actually. Uh, do we have petroleum nearby? Not really. I will once again have to dump it here into the pitcher pump setup. But that is absolutely fine. And that reminds me, we might want to stop this here. No, it's still actually solidifying the ice here. How cold is this by now? Still minus 16 degrees in some cases. Okay, so we're just gonna keep that in place. But we have to remember to eventually get rid of that bottle emptier. Now, actually thinking about it, I might want to wall this off. Otherwise, they're always running through this puddle of water. I don't necessarily want that. They should come from the other side. But this is just a temporary setup anyway, so it doesn't really matter. At this point, I should also be able to enable this gas pump once again and get rid of some of this carbon dioxide. Well, not actually get rid of it, but just store it. Let's take some petroleum because this can heat up quite a bit. I probably don't want to take water in order to cool down the glass. Otherwise, the water is just going to evaporate very quickly. Well, the glass forge is already in place. How wonderful. That means we can get into the piping if we have enough ceramic. And then we are gonna plot a short path over to the petroleum pool. Actually, I don't even have enough ceramic for that. Yeah, so the setup is gonna be four insulated pipes. Not much at all. It should be enough, theoretically, provided the tiles here at the bottom are insulated. And also don't have any liquids on the floor. Okay, I believe by now we should be fine. I kind of want to stop this bottle emptier for the time being. Otherwise, I'm just gonna forget about it. Oh, starvation. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you serious? I forgot about Ashcan. I'm so sorry. Can you get out of there? Yes. Oh, jeez. Go go eat something. Ashcan. Oh, thankfully, he actually goes and eats something. No, no, where are you? Wait. Where are you going? Going to eat where? He goes, eat right here. That is not necessary. You have a mess table. Um, let me see. Ashcan, Ashcan, take that mess table. Okay, well, at least he survived, man. This would have been a harsh setback with Ashcan dying and everything. We're slowly but surely creeping forward with our pipe. It does go slow with the ceramic crafting. But what are you gonna do? Maybe another thing we could already initiate is how we wanna route the power. So if we go for heavy watt conductive wire, we have plenty of copper in order to use that. And we just need to bring this all the way up. Now the question is, how far do we want to go? Is this just going to be the center line and then the left side is going to be reserved for our rockets? I mean, this could technically be the plan. So we just go up straight from here. Don't need that. And then we're just going to expand the ladder as well. How far do I have to get up? All the way up to here. Yeah, and so we best start building our solar panels here from the bottom. Okay, so let's build this heavy watt conductive wire. And then maybe already think about the first panel. Mm, let me actually take this apart here. So we can build it upstairs. So the first solar panel is going to go to the right of this shaft. That means right here would be the first solar panel. Then we set up another one here on the top, overlapping this by two tiles. And then we can have a third one and then we go back to the bottom and up again. Okay, that could theoretically work. We should be able to squeeze in a whole bunch more solar panels this way. And I think the way I'm gonna hook this up is just going through the ladder with the main cable and then going up whenever needed. We are also going to need a little bit more petroleum, so I'm just gonna dump it in here to fill this up a bit. Wonderful, we have enough ceramic to finish the piping. I wonder if I should go just one further. No, I don't think so. Keep the pipe as short as possible, and then for the output it doesn't really matter. I mean, our goal is to solidify the molten glass, however, we don't want it to do that within the pipes, otherwise the pipes are always gonna break. Fortunately enough, since the previous episode, we brought this all the way back down to a acceptable temperature. It's now almost at 22 degrees again. I'm so glad about that. We had that at 60 degrees in the previous episode because I left the tepidizer running. Silly little mistake on my end. Another suggestion you had I might execute is set up a bunch of auto sweepers here since the poke shells do tend to get aggressive if there is an egg nearby. So it might not always be advantageous to have eggs laying around. However, in the beginning, as long as I have empty incubators, this shouldn't be an issue since the eggs are being brought over here very quickly. Uh, okay, I think we're done here. Yeah, this can now definitely go and we want to replace this tile. And then the only thing that still needs building is the power cable as well as the vent over there. 
And of course, the insulated tusk. Don't forget about that. It's the most important thing, actually. You wouldn't think, but it is. You know what? We could actually get rid of this hydrogen setup. I don't require this at all anymore, right? I just left this hanging around in case. But yeah, this can all go and therefore we should be able to set up a whole bunch more of these gas reservoirs. Take care of our carbon dioxide problem temporarily, but then we just need to like mindlessly send rockets or something like that. Glassforge is actually in place. That is absolutely wonderful. Now I just need a bunch of insulated tasks. Do we have enough ceramic for that? Probably not yet. We have 1700. It's not quite enough to wrap this up, but we can get started. Yeah, we're gonna need one more tile right here. And after that, we should be secure to forge the glass. In the meantime, we're gonna keep on building gas reservoirs. Another four, that is gonna help. This also requires all of the piping naturally. So let's go ahead and set this up. Go out here, connect with you. And this can then go straight back into this pipe here. So we can take a bridge probably. Uh, actually, this way it's just gonna flow back into the reservoirs, isn't it? Hmm. Intriguing. So we have to bridge up first maybe and then go over. Ah, this might not work either. You know what? It is a stupid setup anyways that I'm gonna exchange. So I'm gonna set up two bridges to guarantee the flow of materials. Actually, I could set up a bridge in the main pipe. So we bring this over here and then... Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of comments. Why haven't you installed the pliers mod just yet? I tell you why. I had two crashes with it installed. This might be a problem that is fixed by now, but I think as long as this is in early access, I'm just not gonna deal with the mods. And it's also fun to, once again, play with the restrictions of the base game. There we go, all fixed. Now the flow of gases should go always in the right direction. One thing I noticed that was also mentioned in the comments is we might want to set up a dispenser for the oxalite. At the moment, they are just carrying tiny amounts of oxalite up into the spaceship. So what I think I'm gonna do is set this to sweep only, otherwise we could also set up a dispenser if we wanted to, but sweep only is probably the most important setting here, so every now and then we can sweep up a ton of oxalite instead of 10 kilograms at a time. Another resource I might want to track is gold amalgam, 42 tons, not too shabby I have to admit. Ah, look at this, we're actually good with the ceramic. This should be the last of the setup that is required for the glass forge. And then we can finally get it running. In order to do that, we only need sand and heat. We will have to observe how much heat the glass forge itself is expelling. But other than that, we should be good for at least this temporary setup. In the meantime, more gas reservoirs have been built. And there we go. The carbon dioxide can now keep flowing, which means we should be able to get rid of this mess here. Look at that. Just absolutely insane. <laughs> That's what I meant in the beginning. I said we will have more than enough carbon dioxide. Now, how is it looking upstairs? Have we already built a little something? Yeah, okay. The first solar panel is in place. The temperature in the bedrooms is minus 4 degrees. I'm just gonna use the body heat of my duplicants to eventually heat up this room. I'm just kidding. It's a cruel world we're living in. Wonderful. Everything is in place. Now let's build some glass. How much do we get? 25 kilograms only. So that means we're gonna need 8 crafts for one solar panel. In this case, I probably want to go with about 64 crafts for now, but we need to observe whether or not this is actually working. Maybe I forgot something. Now, it looks like we have a little bit of a polluted oxygen problem here at Max's planet. Yeah, we need to take care of that. Oxygen, we need a deodorizer, though. Do we even have sand in this world or any other filtration medium? Zero kilograms of sand. Okay, that is a slight issue. Oh, this is actually a big issue. Should we ship over some sand to this planetoid? This could be an idea. Hmm, how do we take care of this? Also, too much carbon dioxide once again has accumulated. We need to open up this vent for a little bit. Keep on pumping this carbon dioxide out of there. But yeah, we're going to need at least one deodorizer here. Maybe even another one right there. This could be good. Otherwise, he's just gonna have to live with yucky lungs. Who cares? We will make things better for Max eventually. So there is a lot of polluted oxygen down here. Oh man, I'm already worried. Also, fertilization. Should not be a problem, theoretically. We have all of this dirt. Hmm, I wonder, are my priorities set right? This should be priority 5 here, the conveyor loader. I want to make sure Max is actually taking care of everything. Yeah, we'll have to get back to Max soon. Also, these guys here are a little bit idle. Are you serious? Body temp... Oh man, this is driving me insane. <laughs> 
Yeah, my people are gonna freaking starve. Man, I just hate what's going on here lately. Everyone is hungry. How are they even gonna survive? And what is this? Salt water. Okay. Let me check something here. Phosphorite, we have zero kilograms. So we might want to bring over some phosphorite and then we could use a Weasward to keep things cool. Like if I got rid of this and then right here we want a thimble reed. So we need to bring over thimble reed as well. Oh man, I didn't expect to having to take care of that, but it's all right. We can deal with it. So seeds, I want a thimble reed seed. I also want a Weasward seed. And then cultivatable soil. No, where is this actually? Agriculture, maybe. Phosphorite. Do we have phosphorite on this planetoid even? And how much of it? We have 156 tons and we're not actively using it right now. So this is really good news. Okay, so these materials should be brought over and we now have to act. Man, we don't have many more chances like this. I mean, I've already dug up most of the cracked tiles. But here we have some more cracked tiles. I definitely want to do that. Let's actually put this to priority 9 so we can get a little bit of food out of it still. Where else? We have some cracked stuff here. I definitely want to pick all of that. I want to pick that and that. Okay, can I get up there? Uh, we should be good. Maybe build a bunch of ladders. Yeah, other than that, I don't see many cracked tiles we can take advantage of. Maybe these guys here. I also want to uproot one of you. Yeah, it's all the uh, body temperature. No, actually right here, it's just the fertilization. So what's up with you guys? Like they just need a little bit of dirt. Ah, yes, of course. I have no dirt either. <laughs> so back in the main world we go and we also want to bring over some dirt. I have 383 tons, but somehow we need to make this renewable. So a little bit of dirt goes over there as well. Look at that, they have 600 kilograms of glass. I'm actually bringing this over here into my main world. Okay, this once again has become more stressful than I wanted. Here we are missing... No, we're not missing the dirt. He's just not taking care of it. We don't have the power. Okay, what's up? Coal, 27 tons. Oh, Max, what the heck are you doing? Let's check out his priorities. He is... Ah, okay. So maybe we want to set a little bit of a priority in the farming business. And then supplying is probably the next thing. Uh, let's actually see. This goes operating or supplying. So yeah, increase the priority of supplying as well. So he gets that coal generator filled up. And now he's sleeping up there because... Yeah, of course. It's not very convenient to sleep in carbon dioxide. If possible, I also want to limit the amount of polluted oxygen that can actually travel upstairs. It's still going to be able to do so, but in a smaller quantity. <sighs> okay, so back to the main project. I just want to see that actually working. Did you already do something? No, still waiting for the materials. Now, I think one more thing we might be able to do is send someone back over. Uh, what types of people do I have at the moment? We have Joshua the cook and Gossman who is taking care of operating. So that is going to be important. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is send Turner back over to the main planetoid. So teleporter transmitter, Turner, I want to send you over there. So you're not going to eat any more of the food supply. Teleport. Wait, do I have to activate this again? Yeah, uh, teleport. Wonderful. We have arrived. Let's actually assign him a bed. Uh, caught. No, Turner, you should be assigned to this bed and you're also gonna get a mess table. Checking out the schedule, he can probably go into this one here. Turner, you take that schedule. Okay, good luck. We already have over a ton of dirt shipped over. That means at least the farm here on the top should be good. Okay, we might have a fighting chance with this. Some of the mealwood is already growing again, but I'm not entirely sure how long they are gonna make it. Hungry, cannot reach food, hungry. Uh, can I check how far they are into the starving process, you know? Ah, there we go. Somebody is operating the glass forge. Oh, Camille, please, please make this work. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, we have glass in the tube. 1735 degrees. And right here, it's only lost about 10 degrees. That is perfect. Look at this. The pipes are not breaking and we are ending up with glass. I love it. It is going to heat up the petroleum, but only very slowly, I would suspect. Ah, this is wonderful. And I mean, we only have to do this in bursts, right? We don't have to craft glass forever. So that is going to be mighty useful once we start setting up this solar panel array. And it's hopefully going to be glorious. 
Good, I think to wrap up this episode, we need to solve the problems we currently encounter here. That means, for instance, Max, what are you carrying at the moment? Like, what is this? Archie? I'm not sure you're supposed... Ah, okay. So, hmm... Let's lower the priority of the oxygen diffuser. And we're gonna up the priorities of the farms just by one. Ah, I just realized we're bringing all the dirt back up here. That is, of course, a mistake. Yeah, we don't want to bring dirt upstairs. We need to keep it for our farms. But we need a better food setup. The dirt is just not sustainable. We should now have enough phosphorite and dirt to last us a couple of cycles, but I will always have to keep that in mind until we solve that problem. But I want to make sure they also bring over the seeds, so we're gonna forget about the dirt and phosphorite for the time being. I just saw them bring over the Weeswort. That is the most important component for the lower farm. There we go. Plant that as soon as possible so these guys can start growing again, getting to the right temperature. Oh man, this is not gonna last us for long. We need to start digging. Did I set the priorities right for this? No, actually not. This all needs to be priority 9. You need to dig this up, guys. All of this needs to be dug up immediately. Ah, look at this. I believe we might be saved if they just survive another day or so. Let's install another Weeswort here on the top. And what happened here? Nothing. Okay, we just got some meal wood. That's good. Okay, we got the two Weeswords in place. That means we don't need to ship that over either anymore. And then I also want one thimble reed seed. I'm gonna uproot this guy. Actually, the thimble reed doesn't fit here. So can we do mealwood here instead? Yes. There it goes. Wonderful. I wanna plant the thimble reed. One is gonna be enough for this planetoid and the rest we send back over to the main world. Uh, where's the teleporter? Right here. Seeds. Yeah, we're already bringing them back over. Yeah, here we go. Joshua is starving. I hate this. <laughs> this is driving me insane. We survived for 500 cycles. Why would you die now? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I could just deliver some food, couldn't I? <laughs> we have a whole bunch of omelets. I think I'm just gonna deliver omelets over there for the time. Yeah, do this really quickly, guys. This is brilliant. I'm so stupid. Hopefully I'm not too late. Come on, guys, take the bloody omelets and deliver them already. Okay, omelets are being brought over. Let's see if Joshua is smart enough to take care of his needs. I might eventually want to go ahead and sweep this up, actually. Yeah. Okay, Joshua is running into the right direction. That is already good. He picked up the omelets. Oh, please eat it. Please eat it. Wait, I think he dropped the omelets. What? What are you doing? No. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, thankfully he ate them. I'm so glad. This is good. We're bringing over the omelets. I mean, we're getting tons of other food on the other planetoid. <sighs> okay, I think at this point I have to wrap it up. I'm once again stressed out. Yeah, this DLC should be called stressed out and not spaced out. But yeah, I achieved my goal. We are now forging glass in a secure manner, right? We already accumulated 225 kilograms and it's still going on. Okay, I think with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.